it was just an incredible medical mishap as far as I'm concerned. I'm, I'm not happy at all about that. The mother of a UW-Madison student who died of meningitis plans to file a complaint over his care with the state of Wisconsin. Good evening, I'm Eric Franke. First tonight at 10, Henry Mackeman died last month at Meritor Hospital four days after first visiting its emergency room and being sent home. Now the 21-year-old's mother tells investigative reporter Adam Schrager she will officially challenge his medical care and only News 3 has the story. Eric, the State Department of Safety and Professional Services reviews the licenses of Wisconsin's doctors. That's where Meredith Lee says she'll start looking for answers about what happened to Henry. In the meanwhile, she wants Henry remembered for more than his creative abilities and constant smile. He was an amazing young man. He always had such a good attitude. Meredith Lee remembers a kid nicknamed St. Henry because he was never mean to anyone. I just feel like I didn't lose just Henry. I feel like the world lost Henry. Henry Mackeman first went to Meritor Hospital on Saturday, April 6th with body aches and a fever that had been at 104 an hour earlier. A chest x-ray showed no pneumonia and he was sent home. On Monday, he went back to Meritor's emergency room with slurred speech, partial paralysis, and a rash. There are signs of meningitis that the burgeoning guitar player didn't know anything about. On Wednesday, the disease killed him. My goal is to educate the general public about the signs and symptoms of meningitis. Meredith calls it Henry's Protocol. It's a list of meningitis symptoms she'd love for University of Wisconsin students to learn more about. It just seems like, um, you know, nobody knew. Nobody knew what to look for. And in this case, I mean, I, I know my son would be alive today if, if they had given him that list. He had so many classic symptoms of spinal meningitis. Students get a lot of paper, a lot of lists while on campus. In fact, the Student Health Center emails one out each fall to each student, reminding them about the symptoms of the flu and meningitis. Meredith Lee wants the city's hospitals to help. And if it can save one kid, it'd be worth it to me. I am living a nightmare, and I don't want anyone else to have to go through what I went through, where hindsight's 2020. Henry was one credit from earning a dual degree in economics and English from the campus his parents attended. The school will give him an honorary degree this weekend, but the family won't attend. We're all badgers, but um, it's just a really sad place for us. Henry Mackeman wanted to take his Twin Cities band on the road this summer, but instead of being the star of an upcoming concert, will be the star of his family's memories. It's just an incredible loss. Every night I take a pill to go to sleep and every morning I wake up crying and it's it's not getting better and it's not going away. And, and so therefore I just, instead of throwing dishes at my tree, I wanted to do something positive for Henry and for me and for hopefully another family that can avoid this, this Titanic-like tragedy. Meritor Hospital issued a statement saying it was grateful that Meredith Lee was trying to educate the community about the signs of meningitis and that it would do what it could to help. As for her complaint about the care her son received, our hospital spokesman said he could not comment on something yet to be filed and that, quote, our hearts go out to the family. That's so sad. She shares her son's smile as we saw in those pictures and we commend her for doing this and yeah. we appreciate her sharing her story. It is Certainly. such a sad one. Adam, thank you very thank much. Thank you.